All right, so as you can see in this video, I have a number of lamps wired in series. I'm going to talk about series connection of lamps. Are there any disadvantages? I also use this opportunity to answer a question that was asked by Daniel Huago some time ago. And the question is, he said, please, can you come with a video on this question? Two lamps are connected in series. Lamp A is rated 60 watts and lamp B is rated 100 watts. Which of these lamps will glow brighter if the supply voltage is 230 volts and why? Again, which of these lamps will glow brighter if it is connected in power with 230 volts and why? Okay. So I'll be talking briefly about series connection of lamps, and then I will attend to this question with the necessary explanations and experiments. I believe you are going to learn a lot of things by the end of this lesson, and so I will advise that you have a little patience to go through to the end. And please, if you are new on my channel, I have a lot of educative videos and a lot more that I'll be doing, and so I will urge you to subscribe so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. These are four lamps connected in series. Okay, so when wiring lamps in series, the first thing we have to know is that in series connection, the function or the working of any of the lamps is dependent on the other lamps, which means that if one of these lamps is faulty, none of the rest will work. So, to wire lamps in series, all you need to do is that from the switch, you take a switch wire to one of the terminals of the first lamp, then you take another connection from the second terminal of the first lamp to one of the terminals of the second lamp. Then you take another connection from the second terminal of the second lamp to one of the terminals on the third lamp. Then you take another connection from the second terminal on the third lamp to one of the terminals on the fourth lamp. Then the second terminal of the fourth lamp, you connect your neutral from there to supply. So here we have light through our switch wire here, and then we have neutral. And then the middle, we have only one line running from one terminal to the other terminal. For simplicity, let me rearrange this connection. All right, so live to switch, switch wire to one terminal, from this terminal to the other terminal, from this terminal to the other terminal, from this terminal to the other terminal. So if it is five lamps we are connecting, you will continue like that. And then the second terminal of the last lamp will take the neutral to board. All right, so now if I operate this switch, all these lamps should come on. But you can see that this is actually not the normal brightness of these lamps. But because they are connected in series, they have to share the voltage. So the total voltage from the source is actually divided among these lamps. And so the more the lamps, you realize that the voltage across each lamp will actually reduce we are already aware that when resistors are connected in series, their resistances add up. And we also know that resistance is the opposition to the flow of current. And so the more the resistance is in series, the lower the total current will be. And in series also, the total voltage is actually divided across the various lamps. And so you have a reduced voltage across each of the lamps. And the voltage across each lamp is dependent on the wattage rating of the lamp. And also, when lamps are connected in series, the functioning or the working of each lamp is dependent on the other lamps. So, for instance, as these lamps are connected in series, if one of them is faulty and it can't work again, or if one of them is removed, all the other lamps will go off. So it's either all the lamps are working or none of them is working. If I replace this, 
so that all of them will work again. All right, so before I continue, I want us to do this little experiment. So here, I have my multimeter. And so we are going to measure the voltages across each of the lamps. After that, I'll reduce the number of lamps, and then you observe that the brightness will go up than when there are many. There also, I'll measure the voltage drop across each of the lamps, and then we compare to what we are getting now. Okay, so I'm expecting voltages below 200 volts. So my meter is set to 200 volts. Okay, so for the sake of comparison, I'll have L1, L2, L3, L4. Okay, so the first lamp, 27.2. Then the second lamp, 37.2. Then the third lamp, 57.3. Then the last one, 75 volts. All right, so the different voltages across the various lamps is as a result of their wattage rating. So the higher the wattage rating, the more voltage drop to be able to push the same amount of current through the lamp. All right, so now, in order not to spend too much time, I'll be moving to Daniel's question, which says that there are two lamps connected in series, lamps A and lamp B. Lamp A is rated 60 watts, and lamp B is rated 100 watts. Which of these lamps will glow brighter if the supply voltage is 230 volt, and why? Okay, and so I'm going to reduce this circuit by two lamps, and it will be left with just two lamps. And I'll use that to answer Daniel's question. Okay, I also said that in series, the more the lamps, the lower the brightness, because the more the lamps, the lower the current that flows through the circuit. And in series, is the same amount of current that flows through all the circuits. All right. So here, I'll have to switch off first. And then I disconnect these two. Then it will be left with these two. All right. So remember, I said that the fewer lamps you connect in a series circuit, the brighter the lamps are. The more the lamps you connect in a series circuit, the dimmer all the lights become. Okay, the question mentioned 60 watts and 100 watts, but actually, these are lower versions of 60 watts and 100 watts. But all the same, as you can see, one is actually bigger than the other. This is 9 watts, this is 12 watts. And so what we are going to look at is which of them will be brighter when connected in series, and then which of them will be brighter when connected in parallel, and why? Okay, so now, let's operate the switch. And obviously, you can see that when there are only two in the circuit, they are now brighter than when there were additional two lamps connected in the same circuit. Okay, let me turn them this way so that you can see properly. Um, I think it should go this way. Now it be more simple. Okay. So, in the first instance, when we measured the voltage across this same lamp, we got 57.3 volts. But now, there are only two. Why is it brighter than before? Because it now has a higher voltage drop than before. So let's look at the voltage drop this lamp has now. We now have around 90.6 volts. Okay. Then let's look at the other one also. The other one also in the first measurement, we had 75 volts. Now let's look at the voltage across this bigger lamp. And now as you can see, 
we have 113.4 votes. And that explains why they are now brighter than before. So, between these two lamps, judging by yourself, which one would you say is brighter? As you can see, the bigger lamp is brighter than the smaller. And that is because the brightness of a lamp is related to the power rating of the lamp, which depends on both voltage and current. And a higher voltage drop actually translates to a larger portion of the total voltage being used by lamp B. This means that lamp A will receive a smaller voltage drop and consequently will glow dimmer, just as you can see here. So here we have a lower voltage drop, here we have a higher voltage drop. As you can see, we still have our bigger lamp brighter than the smaller lamp. All right, so now let's look at when these lamps are connected in power. Which one will be brighter than which one and why? Okay, so let's switch this one off. And then here we have to loop this live to the other lamp. And then we'll also loop this neutral to the other lamp. So in parallel connection, each lamp gets live and neutral. Unlike the series connection where we have live at one end of the connection and then neutral at the other far end of the connection. And one line is used to connect the terminals. So here, neutral also comes here. Okay, so here, our lamps are now connected in parallel. And in parallel connection, each lamp is actually connected directly across the same voltage source. So unlike the series connection where the voltage drops are different across the various lamps, in parallel, the same amount of supply voltage is connected across all the lamps. And so the current through each lamp is different depending on its resistance, which is also dependent on the wattage rating. All right, so let's now check the voltage across each of the lamps. So here we have 219. We have 219. So you see that it's the same amount of voltage across each of the lamps when they are connected in power. But in series, every lamp will have its own different voltage drop depending on the power rating and the resistance of the lamp. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you have learned something new from this video, kindly do well to like, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to stay connected. Thank you very much again. See you in my next video.